I want to talk about the difference between, and you've talked about inspiration versus motivation before, and so... Inspiration is the vortex version of you calling you, and motivation is your mother trying to kick you into something. <laughs> We, we don't mean to be hard on mothers. They just love you and care about you so much that they have a much harder time minding their own business than anyone else. That's true. Um, I have a great mother, but she's good at that too. So I, I thought this morning about it, and I was thinking when, when you listen to how you present it, sometimes it sounds like, or could sound like, and I know you don't mean it this way, that... So you line up and the universe just does stuff for you. And it does a lot. It's really amazing. Well, that's uh, exactly what we mean. <laughs> when you find vibrational alignment with your own desire that you've already set into place, nothing other than that can be the experience. That's exactly what happens. So then, so my question is, because clearly we are, we, we are here to take action too. So then that's where there's... You are, you are here to experience the deliciousness of all tangible manifestational right. things and action is certainly a part of that. Right. So I would like some I would just like to some clarity on how I fine tune my feeling between motivation meaning urgency of action versus urgency of action is out of the vortex. Sure. Urgency of action is is in the comparative relationship with the inspired action, it's sort of, we're trying to be gentle and kind, it's sort of wasted action. It feels like that. Because, it feels because what it does, well, for, for this big reason, it supports your flawed premise. Right. And it causes you to be action-oriented rather than vibrational grid-oriented. And it slows you way, 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 way down, takes most of the fun out of your life experience, and causes you to come to meetings like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's not who you are, but, but, but you know what we mean. Sure, In sure. other words, it, it, the controlling... The, it, we understand that it's not an easy thing to, to put action into a clear perspective when we're talking about point of attraction. But we think that it, instead of using the word action for a little while, mm -hmm. use the word focus. And in using the word focus, understand the incredible power of focus and the leverage that it contains, the leverage of energy that it contains as compared to action. You know, in your own physics, um, experiences that there are leverages that if you just go try to pick something heavy up that it's more difficult for you than if you use a a pole and a fulcrum and and uh, multiply your energy in a way that gives you more power you understand all of that mm -hmm. and so this is this is that but way 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 more in other words the energy that creates worlds is big-time energy. What kind of physics or action would you all use to keep your Earth spinning in its orbit? <laughs> <laughs> we don't think you've come up with it yet, and we don't think you ever will, you see. Mm -hmm. It's not like that. So as you begin to accept the power of focus and, and the fun of alignment, then you find yourself willing to wait for alignment before you act. Now we know a lot of you don't have the luxury of that because it feels to you, it, it, it feels slightly like if you don't go to work, you might get fired. It's the, well then that, that's the urgency thing um, that, that I, I, when I was... But we want to ask you, do you have to make a choice of going to work or feeling good? Or could you go to work and feel good? Do, do you, within the action that you are offering, mm. could you line up with more emotional grid than you are doing? That's the way you make the transition. In other words, we're not saying don't go to work and sit and look at the way, well, we sort of kind of are. <laughs> Just for a day or two, they'll be all right. <laughs> but if you will take the time to get into vibrational alignment with who you are first, then you'll discover the power of that alignment. That's really the... the understanding that we're wanting to uh, 
um, evoke within you. Yeah, that makes sense. So that comes down to also how you've talked about prepaving that. You get caught in these spirals where the urgency, Esther has said in the past, she said it to Jerry often, I'm too busy, I'm too busy to meditate. <laughs> I don't right. have time, I don't have time. There are, there are too many things that I need to do. Right. And we say, you really want to get that one squared away. Yeah. Because that's like saying, I'm too busy, I'm too busy to find my car keys, therefore I'm going to walk from right. Phoenix to San Diego. Right. That's what it's saying. And we say, that one's not hard to figure out. And what we're giving you here is way, way bigger than that. I'm too busy to attend to my vibrational grid. So I'm just going to be out of whack with everything I want and I'm going to go about it the hard way. I'm going to wrestle people to the ground. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go the hard way every way. I'm going to stay in such a keen state of confusion that I just, and I'm, but I'm going to go after it with everything I've got. And by the, end of, by the end of the day, I'm going to lie in my bed and I'm going to be utterly exhausted. And I'm going to, and I'm going to make a list of all the things that I did today that didn't amount to anything because nothing panned out the way I wanted it to but I'm going to get those marks on the chart because I gave it everything I've got because I believe that in pain I will have gain yep. we say good. yeah you will in pain you'll gain more pain you will a lot more is the way it works and yeah, that's great now it it, it 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 makes sense and and basically what you just said to me was, I'm, you know, you get, I'm too busy to enjoy my life. I'm too busy to enjoy the action that I decide to take. But even inspired action to me doesn't even sound, feel like a decision. Despire, inspired action to me feels like, like something's moving me. So that's, that's exactly what, what's happening. Yeah. The decision was made when you worked on the grid. Right. Contrast causes you to make the decisions. You know what you don't, don't want, you know what you do want. So this vortex is swirling and the source within you is already there. We know that... Just try it. <laughs> just try it. Yeah. Just decide that nothing's more important than that you have fun. Just give it a week or two or three. Just have fun. Just decide that you're going to have fun no matter what. Just fun. You're just going to have fun. Just going to have fun. Just going to have fun. Which might mean you might do some different things. It certainly will mean you'll approach things differently. It certainly will mean you'll avoid some people. <laughs> it will mean that you'll, you'll maybe take some different routes. But it's mental routes. We don't want you to try to control your environment to have the fun. We want you to decide that you're looking for it. And if you'll decide that you're looking for fun, fun will find you everywhere you are. And then say, I'm, I, well, today I'm looking for fun. Today I'm looking for, for exhilaration. Today I'm looking for feeling of vitality. Every day you can choose a different thing that you're looking for. And every day the universe will deliver it to you in spades. And every day you will feel more powerful. Every day you'll be more sure of who you are. Every day you'll feel more worthy. Because when you just say simply, I want to feel good, and then good feelings come to you, and the most exciting thing in the whole world for you to live and for us to witness you live and most of all for us to witness you consciously acknowledging that it's happening that's the best for us because we know what's in your vortex and we know how you want to feel and so when we see you make an effort and it is effort let's call it effort to mm -hmm. feel to feel better or to feel a certain way and it might mean quieting your mind and it might be focusing specifically but when you make the effort to to generate that emotional basis and then you see things begin to fill in around it and you acknowledge that you are the creator of that because you created the basis of that then that feeling of well-being and that feeling of worthiness and that feeling of invincibility begins to come and all of you have experienced phases of that but most of you have not been doing it on purpose so you didn't know what happened you didn't know what the formula was that caused that to happen and now you know you just have to practice it a little bit until you own it personally you see and then people around you will begin noticing they'll be wondering they'll say to you what's going on with you and you'll say why <laughs> whatever do you mean <laughs> and they'll say well first of all you just look good <laughs> you look good I can tell that you're doing good and what's with all this good stuff flowing your way what's up with that your ship finally came in did you finally what happened what turned around 
And they won't necessarily understand your answer, but you've got to give it to them anyway. You've got to say, I chilled. I chilled. I stopped trying to justify my existence through the bogus, flawed premise of hard work. And I began applying myself. I began applying myself to my vibrational, emotional grid. And they'll say, what? You say, I just decided no matter where I'm going, no matter what I'm doing, no matter who I'm doing it with, it is my dominant intent to look for what I'm wanting to see. There's evidence of it everywhere. There are good feeling inspirations everywhere. Sometimes you have to look for them. Good time for a segment of refreshing. Thank you. Thank you.